Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2009 Mercedes ML350 which is going to be changing the oil and filter. So I'm going to show you what tools you're going to need um, and then I'm going to show you how to go about doing the, uh, the job. Now as you can see the car is up already. Uh, on the bottom we're going to have to take a cover off the bottom of the engine to gain access to the oil drain plug. So let me bring you up there, I'll show you what tools you're going to need and then we're going to get started. So let's take a walk. <laughs> okay, there's an example of what kind of tools you're going to need. You're going to need a set of sockets, you're going to need an extension, and of course a ratchet. Um, you're going to need a rag because you're going to make a mess. You're going to put some gloves on so you don't make a mess of your hands. And these are most likely the sockets that are going to be used to remove the oil filter housing up on top of the engine. But we'll see once we lower it down what exactly fits on there. So, all right, let me show you what we're going to do and then we're going to get started. Okay, as you can see, this is the underneath part of the car. This cover here is what needs to come off the car. So we have a couple of, uh, looks like eight millimeter bolts up here, 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 and here. There's four of them all together. So, uh, all right, let's take this cover off and uh, we'll see what it looks like underneath. Okay, now when you look up underneath here, this is your this is your oil pan right here and this is your drain plug right here so what we're going to do now is we're going to take that drain plug out and we're going to drain the oil into a suitable container it does make a little bit of a mess on your hands so you definitely want to wear a pair of gloves and we're clockwise to take it off now, you always want to use a socket whenever you take over the oil drain plug. You don't want to use the open end portion of a wrench, and I'll show you why. If you get on here with the open end part of a wrench, like this, and you try to push on it, this wrench may open up and strip that out. If that happens, you're going to have a problem getting it off. So if you do have to use a wrench, you just use the box end part of the wrench like that to remove it. All right? And we'll bring off the tainer off to drain the oil in. I know it's going to be a little difficult for you to see up here, but that's what we're going to do. I'll get you up a little closer so you have an idea. It's right up inside here. We're going to take out that, uh, that bolt right there. It is a little bit messy, so you'll see I get up there with an extension. Now it's just to turn it. And then we have it loose. Now we'll let that oil drain out. And once it finishes draining out, then we'll come back and we'll put that plug back in. stops draining out, then you can put your oil drain plug in. You're just going to screw it in by hand. You're not going to uh, tighten it in with your ratchet yet. You screw it in as far as you can by hand. tight then you're just going to wipe off any residual oil up underneath here and then we're going to reattach our, uh, our plate underneath the bottom here and then we'll lower the vehicle down and we'll continue up top and now that we have everything reconnected up on the on the bottom here let's lower it down and continue up top 
Okay. Now, the oil filter is actually located directly underneath this cover right here. So you just take the cover, you pull it, and it comes right up and off. Uh, this is your oil filter uh, housing. Uh, as I was, um, I did tell you before, I did tell you before we we're going to use these sockets to take it off. I was wrong. These are not the ones we're going to use. We're going to use a, uh, a special cap to go on it. And if you don't have a special cap, you can use a conventional wrench just like this. And you put it around the top of the oil filter, housing like this, and you turn it, and it comes right off. You take this right out. Now it may drip a little bit, so you want to be careful. Now, this unit here, we're going to take this and we're going to throw it away. All right, let me get a filter. Uh, so we'll put this in. Right back. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't do this up on the customer's car, but I just want to give you an example of what we're going to do here. What we're going to do now is you're going to take this filter here. You hold this. You pull it, and this is now trained. Now, let me just show you what the new filter comes with. The new filter comes with all of the, uh, the O-rings that you're going to need here. So we're going to take all of these O-rings. You just tear your bag open. You just do this over the bench so it don't drop anything. Okay, then what we're going to do you take your filter housing like this, you take your O-ring and you hook it, and you just take it off like that. And the same thing up on top right here. Hey, what's up? Give me one second right there. Oh, I didn't see you. <laughs> I'm just doing a video for that. Okay. Then what you do is you take these O-rings up in the front right here. You see these two O-rings right here? You're going to take these off as well. You just go underneath here with the hook, and you take it off. Same thing right here. Sometimes these O-rings get pretty brittle. And these O-rings are the same size, so it doesn't matter which one is the upper, which one is the lower. take our o-ring you don't want to mix these up take your o-ring just put it on here like this like that same thing on here okay. that's where they go and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we do the same thing. And make sure it goes back in the groove where you took it off from, right here. Our new filter goes over the top like this. Push it down. And now we're going to put clean oil on here to lubricate it and here, and then we'll screw it back in. it down as far as you can by hand and then you can tighten it up the rest of the way with your band wrench. And they do make a special cap. I'll show you in a second. They do make a special cap like this that you could put on the top of that to take it off also but if you don't have this and this is the next best thing. Make sure it's nice and tight, and that's it. All right, now we'll put our cover back on right here. You see these little pieces here? They line up. Particular car it calls for the mobile one full synthetic 
but the owner brought me some other oil that he wanted to put in, so we are going to use a different oil than it calls for. Now, I looked it up on the uh, computer to see um, how much oil was in there. It calls for 8 liters, which comes out to about 8.5 quarts, so that's what we're going to put in. So that is our eight and a half quarts. Make sure we put our cap back on. And now we'll start it up and let it run for just a minute. sure that there's no oil leaks underneath here and we make sure there's no oil leaks underneath the bottom of the car itself and now we're going to check the oil level to make sure it's full And as you can see, it's right to the full mark. Okay. All right, that's it. You're all set. Main thing is you want to make sure that you have no leaks from the filter housing where the O-ring is, and you want to make sure there's no leaks underneath the bottom, and you want to also make sure that the oil level is right up to the full mark where it belongs. That's it. You're all set. Ready to roll. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.